think it's time we stop. Children, what's that sound? Everybody, look what's going down. I, I, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Sean and Simon Show. Uh, I'm Simon. I'm Sean, hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, this is uh, Squeezebox, which is part of our uh, new format. Um, we also have um, Fill Me In, which is our more topical um, recording, really. This is more of a light-hearted sort of entertainment. Funny. Yeah. Both can be found on Facebook and that, so yeah. you know, don't fret. You can't <laughs> find it. Um, yeah. What we've got coming up today is we've got uh, a few features, uh, some old, some new. You might, you know, you might know some of them. First one, normal one, you know, make Simon laugh, which I'm looking forward to. Me too. Uh, then the Simon says, and we've got this a new a new one called the Sean Delusion, um, but we'll be explaining that when it comes up. Yeah. And we finally will have a ca- caption. Uh, teeth. Ah, oh, keep doing that. <laughs> I'll take over. Yeah, caption please do. I had it going. I was doing good. <laughs> I was doing you good. Were, yeah, we were, you were on a bit of a roll there. No mistakes for about 45 yeah, seconds. Yeah, well done. But Impressive. <laughs> right. Caption competition. Yeah, essentially we will post a photo at the end of this video um, and on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and hopefully that will lead you to respond with your funny and amusing captions. And obviously the best ones we'll read out on well, the thing. Well, we'll put, yeah, we'll, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what what was your point there? I, don't I have no idea. Right, okay. Let's, let's awesome. get on with it. Let's get on with it. Right. Um oh yeah, just a point. We we wanted to get a bit more interactive with you guys, so you know, pl- please do uh you know, if you've got something funny about this caption, just it'd be awesome if you could. Yeah. And I suppose respond. maybe if you've got ideas for make Simon laugh. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Although it's kind of our territory. That's true. But you know, I'm always open. I'm always open to ideas. Yeah. So, if you think anything's going to make Simon chuckle... <laughs> um, right, so, <laughs> straight on to make Simon laugh. Yeah. Okay. All right, I need to turn around, Simon. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to get this up on the computer. Right. Now, let can me I just... Uh, yeah, you can, but you're not allowed to read. Promise me you won't read. I'm not reading. Right. Just look at the picture, okay? <laughs> I'm looking. Jody Berry of Panama City sits with her Yoda toy at her lawyer's office Wednesday. Berry, a former Hooters waitress, has sued the restaurant where she worked, saying she was promised a new Toyota for winning a beer sales contest in April. (laughs) Berry, 26, believes she had won a new car, but she was blindfolded, led to the parking lot, and presented a Toyota. (laughs) The little green guy from... to get that. It says at the end, the little green guy from Star Wars. It actually <laughs> says that in the paper. What's wrong with that, though? It, oh, people, just, as if anyone doesn't know who Yoda is. Some people might not be familiar with oh, it. Some people might not. But I can just imagine, you know, in America, you get a new Toyota. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just like, yeah, Toyota. Here's your Toyota. I can't imagine many people who work at Hooters though really have an urgent desire to win a Toyota though. I mean, the people who work in Hooters aren't going to be a typical nerds who'd appreciate that. Aren't yeah, they? either they scoot her over and promised her <laughs> an actual car, realised it was one of their own staff. And we're like, we can fob her off with a with a Toyota, <laughs> <laughs> or or that was the plan all along. So yeah, yeah. I think that definitely works better uh, orally. I think if I'd read it, it would have taken me a bit longer to get the pun. Oh right, yeah. But yeah, I, I enjoy my puns, yeah. and I enjoyed this week's Simon. Make Simon laugh. So we'll we'll put the uh, we'll put the thing on on the YouTube video and on the Facebook for you yeah. guys to see. It's a uh, it's a funny little laugh. Maybe but. maybe crop it so they're not tempted to read it. What and just write that? Yeah, okay, yeah, fair, yeah good it. idea, yeah. And then they get the oral pleasure that I did. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything. This is. <laughs> My mum had a go at me the other day about, about the, the the joke I made when you said he's a big boy in more ways than one, or some a big man. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to make it again, obviously. <laughs> but my mum had a go at me for it, so... Well, at least I was playing. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> Although that was an innocent mistake. 
Yeah, so was so that. that. <laughs> Come on, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you set me off. You've set me off. Come on, okay. moving on. Right. Make Simon. Simon. Make Simon, Simon. Simon, what's wrong with you and your features? I don't know. Well, grief, man. We're making all manner of mistakes today. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Come anyway, come on, get over it. I'm over it. I'm right. over it. Come on, we're so, professional here. We're professional. We are, mm. I think. Uh, Simon says, you never know. Oh. What Sorry, I just to interrupt. <laughs> we shouldn't uh, explain Simon Says to any new listeners we've got. Yeah. Essentially, um, I read out a piece of advice, a well-known proverb or mantra, in the attempt to get Sean to change his ways. <laughs> Make it sound like I'm a renegade. <laughs> like a bad youth or something. Well, maybe you are. <laughs> Yeah, it's, but, it's a little mantra for to me to help me along with with my life. Yeah, and, um, and, and stuff. in in keeping with our real life dynamic, Sean will probably um, argue against this, refusing to accept the advice that I give him, and just blatantly ignore it. Yeah, in fairness, so I'm valued so much as a friend. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Right. Um, what Sam <laughs> says today. <laughs> I don't know if I want to tell you now. I don't think right. you Well, it, you know, I'll just argue against it anyway. That's that's great for the listeners, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure right. they're well, well chuffed with that. Right. For the benefit of the listeners, then, rather than you. Right. You never know what you can do until you can tr- until you try it. You messed that up. I did. Do you want to try again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you can do until you try. Right. Okay. Well, straight off, that's rubbish. Go on, explain yourself. Get on with it. Well, I kind of would like you to explain yourself because my arguments are pretty evident. I mean, <laughs> you never know what you can do. I know I can't. Uh, oh God, yeah. this is embarrassing. I'm struggling oh. to think of something. There are certain things that you can't do. I'll never no, be I'm able to go into space. For you example. don't know that. You've never tried it. What? You assume you could never go into space. What? How would I try to get into space? What can I? What can I do to try? Well, if you've got the ambition and the drive, you get yourself fit. You get yourself into uh, to a genius level intellect. You train. You with, yeah, but you can't. No, that. but you train. No, but you train with NASA. Right. You train. You, you develop your mind. You develop your physical skills. Okay. What if I you've mean, got a, a metabolism that works against you? What if you're not intelligent enough? Well, you've tried, haven't you? You don't know. You don't know. You haven't got a metabolism, a good metabolism. Well, you do. There are other things. Well, no, but you don't. You, you don't know. You've got the physical skill until you've tried football. I, okay, I'm not brilliant at sport. In fact, I'm terrible at sport. Right. I don't. I don't intrinsically know this. I know this because I played sport. And, okay. Yeah. And I've been bad at it, and I've made a fool of myself. <laughs> I can imagine. Not as bad as me, though. I'm sure you'd be much better than me. I don't know. Like, like that time we went to the park and played football. You were good at goals. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, but I walked away with a very, very sore tummy. The, someone pelted the ball, and it... Oh, it Not it hurt. I just it hurt, and held the cup. And it hit my stomach, <laughs> and it left, like, a massive red mark, and I collapsed, and it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> what a sight. <laughs> I've got it on video somewhere. Uh-huh. I'll try and upload that, maybe. No, no, no. I don't want these guys seeing that. That's exactly why I'm going to do it. Let them make their own minds up about me. Don't, <laughs> don't just, you know... Well, don't tell the story if you don't want people to see it. Yeah, but I kind of, you know, for people who don't know what we look like, I wanted them to, to imagine this handsome man in goal who gets the ball pelted at his tummy and they feel really sorry for him. Now they're just going to see a, a slob stood in goal and they're going to be like oh god well you've admitted that you're a slob so you've shattered that illusion anyway you'd already done it oh shut up right <laughs> I, I know there are certain things you can't do but I can't I can't I can't have a baby and I can't try to have a baby that's um, that's I just less got you there. that's less of a skill based thing though isn't it that's that doesn't matter the state what is the statement you never know what you can do until you try that doesn't mean you can do everything well, yeah, but I I know, I do know for a fact that I can't bear a child irrespective of whether I've tried or not. And there are ways of trying. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then get on with it. Well, I'm not... I'm not, not you could... This is no, family all family. Right. In, in doing this, right. in, in, if you wanted so desperately to give birth, mm-hmm. 
and you had you, you had your scientific knowledge, you had all the scientific equipment, you could stumble upon a discovery, a scientific discovery that made it possible for you to get mailed to to have you ovaries. never you never know what is possible. Have ovaries and the hips be able to cap- to be able to cope with. Yeah, the point is, people could try. People could try. You people know. have tried, and the exactly. best they've got they is, is, is an operation. And they failed. That's my point. They've tried. No, still no. It's it's no, beyond no. the realms. I, of I think I've earned you there. I don't think you do. I I don't think you have. It's it might be beyond the realms of possibility, but the fact is, you never they know tried. what you can do until you try. I. The fact is, I cannot go outside now. Right, it's dark outside. I can't yeah. go outside and it be daylight. That's irrelevant. Those are forces beyond your control. That still holds true to the statement, though. I don't think it does. Forces outside your control. The you never know what you can do. I'm taking the you statement, can't do the statement you can... literally here, right? And in, in taking it literally, there are things that are impossible for one to achieve, whether you try it or not. But this is more about you doing things well, rather than no, nature. No, 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 no. Doing you things. want me to live by that. Yeah, and I can't lie. The, and the I, underlying morality of this is... Are you trying to get me killed? No, I'm I not can't fly. That. I can keep trying... That, that's a famous thing where people keep trying to fly and jump off buildings and stuff, and they can't fly. All right, well, they've tried, haven't they? they? Can and try, yeah, the and they've died for it. Yeah, well, they've tried. They, don't, they know they can't do it. Yeah, but I know I can't do it through experience. Through other people's through, experience. Through other people's yeah. experience. I've learned through other people's attempts. All the people have tried... This is kind of what history is about. Well, yeah, exactly. It's learning from the, the underlying morality of that is the value of experience. And no, it's not. Of course it is. Of course it is. Yeah, but not your personal, not your, I thought you meant your own personal experience. That, that's what that's talking about. Well, yeah, about. it is. I mean, I know, I know as a human being, I can't fly. Yeah. I can't reproduce on my own. I can't do certain things that other animals can do. The fact is, people right? have tried, and we've learned from the fact that they have tried. Yeah, yeah. But we all know that now. Yeah. And we've never tried. I suppose, I see your argument. As individuals. But I think what's as, as a people, we've tried. As yeah. a race, we've tried. But and in some that's, ways, not, that's not what the statement is. How, well, no, how do you expect you, me to... You could apply to... It could be a multi-person plural. Yeah, but you expect me to live by that personally, not a, not the human race. Well, I, I will. If well, I'm saying it to you, what, that's what I'm Simon it, says is about. No, if I'm saying it to you, you're part of the human race, aren't you? you yes, you know. I am. Yeah. So people are trying. People, it can apply to humanity collectively. Mm. No, of course it can. No, of course no, it can. No, no. The because fact is, it would it would have to take it, it it would have to be every single person to apply to apply to that. Yeah, and that's to work. And I agree that everybody should try. Yeah, but that's never going to happen. That's that's never going to happen. Well, perhaps not, but they should still do it. Well, that's a very (laughs) bold statement. I just. But the point is, this. this, The point of this statement is, don't just sit there doing nothing. Get out there trying new things because you don't know you might not like it. No, to be honest, I've kind of grown bored of this argument now. I still know I'm right. Well, I know, I know that. there are that there, there are certain things you can't do as a person, right? And you know that that's the way it is. But <sighs> because I'm I'm bored of the argument, I'm going to drop out and let you win this week. All right, cool. Well then, it's but equal, isn't it? Well, let that let that be known to all the listeners. I've let him win. Even and you haven't let I've me raised win, though. some very good arguments. And I've owned in, them. in this week, Simon says. No, I don't know. think you have. Nah, I'm, I'm letting you win. I'm well, letting the, you win. you're letting me win because you can't counter my argument. No, I'm letting you win because no. I'm bored. Yeah, all right. That's what I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Fact is, it's equal. Okay, it's equal. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Awesome. I'll let, let you win. win. Well, did you? I'll let you win. Fact. Well, debatable. Just shh. right. Caption competition. No. What? You're going to start a feature. Oh, I have, of course. Sorry. The Sean delusion. Yeah. <laughs> after, after just letting you win, or well, thinking I've let you win, the Sean delusion seems quite appropriate, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was the Sean delusion, thinking I won. Yeah, well, um, it's an appropriate lead in then, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. It was nice a nice little link. Run. It was. A little link there. Good one. We always do that. We always make a good link and then talk about it. We're lucky like that. Um... <laughs> Right, the Sean delusion. That's basically where this is. This is where I'm a bit crazy, right? And I'm inflicting my views upon the world here. And oh, the world. 
I, I'm proposing the, the Sean Delusion, obviously a, a play on play on words with with the God Delusion, yeah, uh, by Richard Dawkins, and you know what what I do in this is I I I make a statement or a theory about the human's existence, our yeah. existence, how we're here, why we're here, and or something like that. You yeah. know, is is I suppose it's fairly flexible, but this this week's this week's Sean Delusion is the theory that there is a possibility that someone has a, a very powerful computer that can simulate an atom, right? And, you know, simulated the Big Bang and all this, a very powerful computer possibly could be, you know, beyond our realm of, of thinking or anything like that. Way in the future. It doesn't even have to be now, right? And they've simulated the Big Bang and by by being able to to simulate exactly what an atom does, it has done what it did. And you mean it's done what it did? It has done what it did in the Big Bang, and it has gone on and, so, and so created life. And this this we're computer. We're essentially in a replica world. We are, yeah, yeah. So, That's just a theory. We could be. That there's no. So you kind of got that from the Matrix, didn't <laughs> you? No, the Matrix is is a a computer program. Yeah, this, but it's the same is, thing, isn't it? I suppose, yeah, but it's not really explained in the Matrix. The, the Matrix is dealing with real people. We existed. Yeah, we right. existed, but it could have been, you know, a hundred years in the past, from from our present state. We are actually just in a computer. Okay, so this and is a recording of a recording of the Sean and Simon show. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, like, because they've replicated the atom, and what it would do, and all the molecules, and all this stuff. We are we exist. It's created life, and it's just gone on, and it's just predicted. And, and using that, you can predict the future and all this stuff. But well, I think you're mad. That is a crazy theory, and that's what the Sean delusion's about. But then, but what what led you to this assumption? What made you think this? It's just a theory. I don't know it. Okay, so you don't actually genuinely believe this? Well, it's a possibility. We is can't it? we can't disprove it. No, but even you... even down to to cogi, cogito ergo sum. I can't remember who said that. I think therefore I am, right? Even down to that, we do exist. We are real. Yeah. But we're just in a computer program. But then how real would we be? If as real as an atom. It's just been simulated. But then is that real? It's, we've, we've gone on to be created normally and that, you know, everything would have happened exactly how it happened. If you had a computer powerful enough, you could do that. Okay. You just have to speed it up. But obviously, because we're in it, we're not feeling it being sped up. I like that theory. I like it, actually. Yeah? I hope you don't genuinely believe it. No, I don't. It's, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. But it's a possibility. It's the kind of thing what? that I think... It's the kind of thing that I think in my mind... It could happen. It could be... It, but I don't want to think... I don't care. I don't care enough about it. It could be real. <laughs> Whatever. All right. And on that, uh, no. All right, now we're on the caption competition. Yeah. You, know, simulated you, you got a bit ahead of yourself. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere in another world, people have already done this. Yeah. Well, no, we've already done this. Yeah. Of course, yeah. But well, not us. We're but dead. The original us. The original us. <laughs> but that, when you, oh, wait, when you think about it, our simulation is going to go on to eventually create a simulation. Recursion. What? Recursion. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, there it's we a go. Concept. Then. Boys and girls. You've learnt something. Recursion. <laughs> you know, it's like that painting by, is it M.C. MC Escher? Similar no sort idea. of. Do I look like a patron of the arts? <laughs> Fair point. Anyway, yeah, get on with it. Capture competition. competition, right. Um, we would like you, the audience, to reply to us via Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. Via? What, yeah. Via? Via? Whatever. Whichever means possible, get in touch with us, give oh, us yeah. a funny caption, and if it's good enough, if we if deem it funny... Enough, it will be. These well, I hope, hilarious. yeah, you are. You've obviously got a very good taste in uh, comedy. You if you listen to this. People. Of course. Hey. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so get in touch with us, and if we like it, we'll put it on the video. Like, put them on, put them on like, you know, the comments bit on, uh, yeah. on Facebook. It'll all, we'll advertise all this on Facebook, but yeah. we'll, what we'll do next week... Uh, of of squeeze box is we'll we'll show it we'll show it and introduce it yeah. and say you know this these were the the captions from last week's show yeah here's anyway. your new picture right anyway I think we've just explained that in uh, enough in <laughs> detail far too much detail yeah 
work. You sh- we're assuming people are idiots here. We're being a bit patronising. <laughs> sorry, um, guys. Yeah, sorry. We'll show you intelligent people. Anyway, let's wrap up. Yeah. Uh, before before we go, guys, just just a little ask. Have a listen to Fill Me In. It might not, you know, be for you. Fill Fill Me In is our our other show. Yeah. Um. Well, the Sean and Simon is part of the Sean and Simon show, but it's it's an, it's got different content. It's a, you know. Yeah, it's a parallel podcast. <laughs> I like that. Parallel I'm going to podcast. use that more often. Okay. Right. So how watch our parallel in, podcast. How much will that come in conversation? I'll make it come in. Anyway, you yeah. Know what we missed. Oh yeah. We missed the other feature. We did. We'll put that in next week, guys. Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Um. Right. See you later, guys. That's. Bye from me. And it's goodbye from me. See you later. It's time we stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. I, I, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. <laughs>